Hey, buddy. Hey, I actually got to see you in Santa Cruz. Well, thanks for coming out. What's on your mind today? What's on my mind is uh, I went to a local uh, fast food place here, and they had a kiosk that you can order from, like a computer. And I thought that was... Uh, yeah, they're phasing, they're phasing humans out at the checkout counters everywhere, uh, and it's a mode of control. It's not a way to lower cost. Yeah, and it, and it just supports China because the, the darn thing's made there. And so well, you know, McDonald's going back years ago now, you'll talk to an operator in India to order your food, and then basically you got a few people in there with the robotic machines that are putting the microwaved uh, uh, fake food together. Yes, that's right. And um, on another point, I wanted to talk about, um, I'm not sure if you're aware of uh, IP version 6, but I believe that's the, uh, the way of introducing Internet 2. Well, they're, they're changing the infrastructure of the Internet to force you to only use their systems that have built-in control hubs in them. Briefly explain it to people. IP version 6 basically makes the Internet twice as big as uh, the current infrastructure and makes it so that your local link IP is, is basically known to the whole Internet mm -hmm. rather than having it through a firewall or something like that. Yeah, sort. it's Internet ID, and, and, that, and that's mainly so they can start taxing it and tracking you and framing people with Internet surfing habits. And they use things like WikiLeaks to put it out and claim the government didn't do it. Great points, Moses. Julio in Illinois, you're on the air. Welcome. Alex Jones, lover of freedom, brother in arms. Good to talk with you as always. Quickly, three reasons why we're winning and we've already won. Winning? Number one, winning. Charlie Sheen has, has that Twitter account, my favorite band, Umphreys McGee. And everyone all throughout the world are, are, are saying winning. And uh, people who, freedom lovers of Charlie Sheen fans, please show your friends. 20 minutes with the president of Charlie Sheen and expose to them why Charlie Sheen is a great friend of 9-11 Truth. Secondly, I saw Mark Kirk, Senator of Illinois, last Saturday. I asked him briefly about 9-11, Building 7, if he supports a new investigation. I talked to him about El Malgum Virgo with Osama bin Laden on the cover, June of 2001. Looked at me and said that he's comfortable with the 9-11 Commission report. Winning, Mark Kirk proved again he's a neocon. And so well, Julio, let me throw this out. Um, we are changes on fire everywhere. The confrontations, the real reporting, and the globalists now are in the Congress when Hillary was speaking and others saying there's now these citizen reporters going everywhere confronting us. We're losing control. Yeah, the American people are taking our media back. Last, last thing, Alex, USA Today, please uh, put, put this up so people can see this. They won't believe me. USA Today money, February 25th, 2011. Can geoengineering put the freeze on global warming? They specifically talk about chemtrailing. Um, oh, yeah. The, no, no, no. Chemtrails don't exist, but exactly what we said 15 years ago is what they admitted is. Uh, what's the headline again? Can geoengineering put the freeze on global warming? Exactly. USA Today money. Folks, we're winning. We, we already won. We have the truth on our side. Winning. We can, as, as Max Kaiser saying, what's wrong with us? Let's get our, let's get Duh. our cover back winning. Right now. Winning. God bless, Alex. I love you, man. <laughs> I'm praying for you. People pray for uh, Charlie Sheen to find a woman of freedom and a woman of the Lord, too, so uh, we can have them peacefully marching for our freedoms back. God bless everyone. I love you all. Absolutely. Yeah, Charlie's going through a lot right now, and I've seen different sides of him, but he, he certainly is about just being bold and out in the open, and uh, we hope after you know he calms down from being clean that... Uh, that uh, he can get back into exposing the New World Order because what a powerful tool that's going to be. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Stay with us. PrisonPlanet.tv, InfoWars.com. A very wealthy U.S. citizen is predicting that in 2011, we will witness the most important day in America in more than 50 years. He says it will change everything about our lives. The way you shop, travel, invest, educate your children, and even how you take care of your health and your own family. Now, this man has made some outrageous predictions over the years. The crazy part is, he's usually right. You see, he predicted the collapse of GM, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and America's biggest mall owner, General Growth Properties. In fact, Barron's called his work a 
dire prophecy. Recently, he created a video, which you can watch online for free, detailing his biggest and most important prediction yet. And it's a real eye-opener. I can't stress this enough. You should at least watch this free video online today. He explains everything you need to know, including simple steps you can take to protect yourself. You can find the video at www.endofamerica3.com. That's endofamerica, the number three, dot com. Watch the free video at www.endofamerica3.com. That's endofamerica3.com. Hi, folks. This is Alex Jones, and I want to tell you about the Silver Lungs Generator. Now you can produce pure and endless colloidal silver and deliver the solution directly into the bloodstream by breathing the solution through the lungs. The respiratory system is the first line of defense for airborne pathogens and viruses. The Silver Lungs Generator infuses the respiratory system with your self-produced nano-silver solutions and also delivers the silver nanoparticles instantly into the bloodstream. With continued legislation threatening the sale of nano-silver products, you can now produce pure and endless colloidal silver with the Silver Lungs Generator. Very easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions are provided, making production fast and simple. Go to www.silverlungs.com today and learn more about the breakthrough technology of the Silver Lungs Generator. That's www.silverlungs.com. Hundreds of nations have fallen to tyranny in the last century alone. This is our last chance to not relive history. As we're finishing off this agenda, uh, they'll be pulling the rug from underneath Americans at home. They have tremendous influence on our president and Congress, and they really are calling the shots. I think it's incumbent upon all of us as American citizens to pay attention. Fall of the Republic identifies the enemies of our nation, the criminal offshore cartel, hell-bent on destroying sovereignty and on its ashes constructing world government. Tim Geithner, Bernanke, they're arsonists. They're asking for more matches. And the Congress is saying, who do we make the check out to? Today, it seems like nobody does care. And right now in Washington, D.C., we have seen a fall of the Republic. Get your copy of Fall of the Republic on DVD at InfoWars.com or watch it online right now in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. gentlemen uh, a little bit into the next hour mark dice joins us up on screen for prisonplanet.tv viewers can geoengineering put the freeze on global warming oh they are chem trailing can airplanes spray aluminum dioxide barium salts and other things in there to save us oh see the chemtrails are real uh, now they're not denying it. They're rolling it out that they were saving us with this 16-year-long secret program. Now, joining us is Mark Dice, author of Big Brother, The Orwellian Nightmare Come True. And I think it's the most powerful book he's ever written. We carry all of his books at InfoWars.com. But we've uh, teamed up uh, with Mark when he wanted us to contact us a few months ago with this idea. Uh, in the first uh, three and a half months of its uh, publication, we're going to be the exclusive place to get Big Brother, the Orwellian Nightmare Come True. It starts shipping, what, the 21st of this month uh, and a little over two weeks from now. So get your pre-orders in. They have been printed and they're on their way to us right now. Big Brother, the Orwellian Nightmare Come True. So many people know about Big Brother and Orwell, but this illustrates and basically analyzes the book and shows how we've really gone beyond that in many respects in this social engineering. Again, it's available at InfoWars.com. When you get the book, it also supports Mark. It also supports what we're doing, and it helps get the word out to everybody. You may already know about all this. Get the book. Give it to friends and family. We also have some combo deals where you can get my videos at less than half off when you get them with the book. So available at InfoWars.com. Or if you want to call, tell the folks here at the office you want Big Brother, the Orwellian Nightmare, come true, 888-253-3139. Uh, Mark Dice, great to have you on with us. Hey, thanks. It's a big day. It's Defriend Day today on Facebook, We the day when we clean up our friends list and delete the strangers and scumbags. We can get into some of the details about that and the other Orwellian aspects of 
Facebook. But, you know, I've, I've been making the comparisons. Everybody, uh, this audience has been drawing comparisons, seeing the comparisons between what we are experiencing in our world and Orwell's book. So I've compiled about 300 pages of them. And it's, it's very, very scary what's going to be coming around the corner here. Uh, just in a few months and in a few years. I mean, we have everything we've been talking about now and, and cited in, in trade journals or, or maybe just things that are, are being implemented or working on patents, patent applications. All of this stuff is coming to a fruition, uh, to the Orwellian nightmare. And if we don't all come together and wake up and stand up and come together and educate ourselves, our communities, get over the fear we're going to live in the Orwellian nightmare. We're That's right. Walk. We should be afraid of doing nothing. Go back to 1997 when I got arrested protesting the thumb scanners. And I predicted they're going to be in grocery stores. They're going to be at the, 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 the gym. They're going to be to get your school lunch because I'd read the government documents. Now it's becoming ubiquitous. It's everywhere. The face scanning cameras, the license plate reading cameras, the control grid is going into place right now. But just like we're starting to defeat the TSA... And just as even the mainstream media is decrying what they're doing, if we make these other Orwellian issues important as well, we can start turning the tide against it. We don't have a choice. And hence your manifesto, Big Brother, the Orwellian nightmare come true, Mark. I salute you on this book. This, the, your, your other three books are excellent. This blows them away. You know, this, this is not a conspiracy theory. There's no conspiracy theories in the book. I'm sorry if I'm just talking about patents and, and trade journals where they're saying that they're already testing cameras in Holland and they're, they're ready to implement them in London for the Olympics in 2012 where they listen to the streets. And if you yell at someone or if the cameras detect that your voice is angry, uh, the, the pitch, the volume, the tempo. That's already been put in in England. Yeah, they're already testing. This is already coming out. So we don't have much time before we're living in the Orwellian nightmare. And, and it's, it's very creepy. The social structure, the control of information, the perpetual state of war, the, per, per, the personification of the party, the telescreens, the snitch culture, the, the, the degraded and corrupted social relationships. There's a global revolution against every canon of freedom. Telescreens going in 9,000 locations, saying spy on your neighbors. Forbes comes out today and admits docs reveal TSA plan to body scan uh, uh, pedestrians, train passengers. They're already doing it. It's all happening. Listen, there's a case in India of a woman that was convicted of murder because a machine read her mind and said that she had experiential knowledge of the murder scene. So there's technology coming out that or is already out, I guess. They're just unrolling newer and more advanced versions that supposedly reads your mind and can allegedly determine whether you have seen or heard something. So the, these machines have already convicted people of murder in foreign countries, and it's coming here. The Orwellian nightmare is going to come true if we do not all stand up, wake up, come together, stop being afraid, expose the false flag terrorism, and come together and restore the republic. Well, Mark, let's walk through your book and the different chapters and, and why this is such an important uh, tome. Well, let's, let's start off with Facebook Defriend Day. There's a whole section in the book about Facebook. And again, much of this audience may be familiar with this. So this is for the masses. This is for the people that aren't aware of these issues or maybe the people that are just starting to care about what's going on. And so we're announcing Facebook Defriend Day. Just the time to step back and think about the social implications of Facebook. People, there are police that are going on Facebook pages and arresting students for underage drinking using the photos that they've posted as the evidence. So just imagine the police are going on Facebook pages, finding photos of students, and then tracking them down and arresting them for underage drinking. This is Big Brother. This is what we're trying to fight. So Facebook Defriend Day, there's an article on Infowars.com that kind of details some of the Orwellian aspects of Facebook, not to mention just the, the social implications of the narcissism and the self-absorption that these websites, these supposed social networking sites, have created. But well, let's take another look at some of the, some of the creepy aspects that Facebook has, has, has Before had we do that, let me just add, it's like Google. You think you're going to the Oracle to get information, but it's actually tracking what you're thinking, what you're doing, where you're going to eat, what movies you're watching. It's building a detailed psychological breakdown on you. The same thing's happening with Facebook, and you've got the founder of it calling his users idiots, saying that they trust him, that they're morons. Yeah, and there's new 
facial recognition software that's out that's going to identify everybody in every photo that's posted on Facebook, on the Internet. There were apps that were created. I think they've been pulled from the app stores now, from Android and, and iPhone. There's, there's apps that are created where you can take a photo of some random stranger, and using facial recognition software, it will search Facebook, MySpace, the Internet, and find that person. That's creepy. That's the Orwellian nightmare. That's what we're going to have to start learning about.